Hello, beer fans. Guten Nacht. Um, Kevin and Zane here again. We are doing two more beers tonight. Uh, pretty similar styles, these two, actually. Uh, very fruity, somewhat tart and sour. Never had either of these. Have you had either of these? Have not. So, this should be exciting. Which one do you want to do first? I'll let you choose. We'll be Surprise me. Uh, by the way, on the last one, did you... Did you Pull, like, did you show the bottle? A little bit, yeah. Did... It's kind of hard because it's far Okay, away. so you didn't go up there? No. Okay, cool. All right, so we have the Queen of Hearts. A, they pronounce it Berlin Weiser? Berlin Wise. Berlin Wise, right? Yeah, Berliner. it's like Weiss. Berlin Weiss. Uh, with guava and ginger. Um, it is from the Bad Meat Brewing Company. So In Nevada. It's local. It is local. So what they have been, what they have going on is a dealer's choice, aka like a limited release. Pretty much what they've been doing is like every like three months they uh, give out like a different type of beer. So they do like a double IPA and then an Imperial Red Ale. So it's supposed to be like different um, tastes. And so because it's summer, right? They did a real this summer. This is a good beer. summer beer. So it's light and fruity and tart. Is yeah. what we should be tasting if it's good. And a lemonade esque wait esque. There you go. Yeah. Lemonade esque. Acidity, uh, perfect for 100 degree heat, which is what we're having. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Let's see what it honors. This is our first local beer. No, that was a local from yesterday, right? Yeah. Um, what was yesterday? No, I don't think so. was one. No, we didn't have. It. No, 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 no. I said, yeah, yeah, no, you're right, right. I was, I was uh, thinking of the Anita Lime Pills or when we drank the Lime. The Founders. Okay. That's what it was. So right off the bat, you can see that it's very... <laughs> pretty hey. pretty clear. It's, I mean, so it's cloudy, but it's light, is what I meant to say. Like, it kind of does look like a lemon. It's almost like a cider. Yeah. yeah. But still very cloudy. What percentage is this? 3.7 or 4. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. So this is it's pretty light. Yeah. Um, which is what you want in the summer. You're already dehydrated because it's 110 degrees. Alcohol dehydrates you more. <laughs> it is almost sm almost it's pretty acidic. Almost smells like pee. I don't know about that. Very slight smell of pee. That's how acidic a little bit it is. Maybe ammonia. Uh, it's, it's amazing. If your pee doesn't smell like ammonia, I don't know. Prickly. Does that make sense? It's a prickly smell. I really don't get as much guava as I thought I would because it's just so it's just really so acidic that I it kind of reminds me of the uh, notorious oh. POG that we just had. A little stronger, stronger. Yeah. Stronger. All right. Well, cheers. Yeah. Let's try it out. That is that's hard. It's good. Um, I think it. Mm. So the carbonation isn't quite there. It it goes down somewhat flat. Yes. A little bit watery maybe. Uh, it, I, I get the hints of guava. I do get the guava in there. There's not a lot of viscosity to it. It's very it's like runny and watery. Yeah, that is much true. Which I guess, yes, I, I can't see myself in the heat. Yeah, this, yeah, this is pretty good. Or even doing something active, kayaking, playing tennis, perhaps. I like it. It's pretty pleasant. I just don't, yeah, I don't like how it goes down flat. Yeah. Yeah. That's. It's like it does have a little bit of tang, but it's also, it, it's a little flat. The carbonation level is not quite there where it needs to be. But overall, i um, pretty happy with it. I'd probably consider buying it again. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who typically would not like beers, I feel, yeah. would give this a pretty good chance yep. to like this beer. Especially women who like fruitier drinks and like sweeter stuff. Yeah, be women. It is oh. Queen of Hearts. Yep. <clears throat> Not always, but I feel like typically women don't like like super bitter drinks. Can I help you? My, my dog wants to be in this beer review. It's so bad right now. Not take fish. Well, one down, one to go. Oh, he's still got some yeah, of this. So this next one is from Victory Brewing. 
Um, they're a pretty well known brewery. Do some really good beers. Uh, do some good there. IPAs. Yeah, go ahead. I'll tell them about this and I'll do mine. So the um, the Golden Monkey is probably Victory's most popular beer. Um, maybe their most well known. Either that or like Dirt Wolf, the uh, IPA. This one though is a Sour Monkey. So uh, interesting. I'd never had this before. It's a Sour Brett Triple, which sounds super interesting. So it's a triple, which is a Belgian style strong ale. Um, typically, as you go from double to triple to quadruple or quad, um, it gets darker and more sweet and kind of like a more syrupy bread-like flavor. So triple's kind of in the middle. It definitely has a lot of malt to it, um, but also still a little bit of lightness and tartness that you would find in the double. Um, so the malt is Pilsner malt. The hops used in this are Tetanang. Tetanang? So, anyways, uh, get thirsty, taste victory is their motto. I do like how they post the individual uh, malts and hops used in this. So this is a single malt and a single hop beer. Uh, I'd honestly never heard of that hop before. And then it has the brewmaster signature on here. Um, to tell you the truth, I have probably not heard of much hops. If you get if you even name the hop, I've heard of a lot, but never Ted Mang. Um, probably because I don't drink a ton of triples, and they don't really advertise the hops that they use in because it's not a hoppy beer. Um, Nine point five percent, pretty heavy. I'm excited to try this one. So is Dante. <laughs> Is it legal to give your dog alcohol? I doubt it. Our viewers will be the um, judge of that. I mean, he's of age, so. Ah, true, in dog years. Yeah, actually, yeah, he's not in dog years either. No, I mean, if you're in like, I don't know. What's, what's the country he's has? 18? Nah, he's like, he's 14. Oh. Hey, no. Do we have like a little dish we can give him? <laughs> He yeah. looks like he really yeah, He loves something. beer. He does love himself some beer. He always gets into it. He's going to try to lick it. Let's, let's put this right in the front. Oh, that's, Cheers. This smells really good. Wow. That's one of the better smelling beers I've ever smelled. You can smell some malt off of yeah. it. Yeah. We haven't had that in a while. Also, a little right. bit of honey right. as well. What, what's that? Picture? But it's got definitely like some sharp sour notes to it. It's like a golden kind of sour beer, which I've never had before. Yeah, yeah, this is th this is throwing me off in a loop, and I haven't even tasted it yet. I, it's gonna be interesting, that's for it, sure. It's it's a lot more malty. That's like the one thing I can get. Like it smells a lot more malty than I thought. It's good. Yeah, I go down sweet, um, especially for a nine point five percent beer. Not too tart. It's a, that's a really good level of tart mm -hmm. right there. That's excellent. Wow, two great beers again. We've just been. Hitting the jackpot. Do you want off, do you want off now? What's, a, what's up? This man doesn't know what he wants. He just wants a little, he just wants a beer. Thank you, buddy. This tastes better than it smells. I actually didn't like the smell that much. Really? Just because I got that malt and it reminded me of the 40s that I drink in middle uh. school, you know? Wow, starting young. The brown skin man. They always do. <laughs> so, I'm a big fan of this. Um, after trying both of these, I would give. Let's go ahead and rate. Uh, the Bad Beat Brewing Queen of Hearts Berliner Weiss with Guava and Ginger. 3.8%. I would give that one a 7. Point eight. I enjoyed it. Um, don't know if I would necessarily buy it again, mostly due to the carbonation, but I could definitely see a situation where I would be interested in drinking this if I was doing something outdoors, especially in the summer. Really, twice. Really, 
fight twice. Let's take a B when it's twice. a W. Little fight. Um, I will give this. Oh, Dante really likes beer. It was 6 9. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. Um, Queen of Hearts. So, what about six, it? Did nine. you not like just the flatness? Yeah, or? it. Yeah. Like, I. I, did, I wouldn't know if I would want to take two of those down, really. <clears throat> yeah, I get that. Um, this one I was more impressed with, like, the overall, I guess, complexity of the beer and the balance. Um, it's not overpoweringly sour or malty. Yeah, that is. I didn't really think good. it was going to be as, uh, I didn't think it was really going to be that sour at all, but it, it's a perfect amount of sour, not too tart. So again, this is the Victory Sour Monkey. Um, 9.5% again. I would give it a 8.3. Pretty good. I would definitely buy it again. Um, there's just so many good beers out there, it's hard to go back to ones that I haven't had before. So I find myself just buying completely new ones all the time. What would you give it? Yeah, mine's right up there. I think like an 8-1. It's right up there. Okay. It's like, but definitely, we really both good. agree that this one was superior tonight. Um, and now, uh, as usual, Kevin will try them both together. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing now? It is. Oh god, this is going to be so gross. Is that why you say Oh my god. That's a lot. You shouldn't have that much. <laughs> Pretty rough. But I'm not doing anything tomorrow, so. <laughs> Cheers, Dante. You don't have to work in a few hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's all hands on down balls on deck. Pretty good? Better than yesterday's mix. Okay. Yeah. Cause you get the tart, the more tart from this. Okay. Right. So it's, this tastes like a like a regular sour at a, at a, at a brewery or at a bar. Yeah, it's pretty. That's, good. Like, that's like a pretty common sour right there. Well, yeah, I like that. It yeah, that's pretty good. Pairs well together. So there you have it. If you'd like to combine these two, you may. Um, that's really about it. Would you give this score a higher than this one by itself? Nah, no, probably not. But it's still good. I would still give I, I would, that I would, better than that. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. Is that right, Dante? Well, thank you for watching. Um, this has been a Zany Brews Reviews production. Uh, we will do another very soon, possibly tomorrow or the next day, and the next day after that, and yes. every day from now on. I will be drinking beer until my liver fails me. So, or until I run out of money. Whichever happens first. <laughs> Same thing with Dante. Yeah, hope so. Alright, thank you, and uh, good night. Kevin, would you like to sign us off? Just